Hello, welcome to Cute Toons. Today we're going to draw a cartoon cat. With a pencil, start off drawing a large oval shape in the middle of your page. Keep your pencil lines light because we will be rubbing these out later on. Next, draw a smaller oval shape which overlaps the first one. This is off to the right and it's a little bit higher than the first oval. Next I want you to draw a line across the top of the first oval shape, about a quarter of the way down. We'll do the same on the small oval shape. This is the way that we started drawing the cartoon dog, if any of you have seen that video. What I'm doing now with an eraser is rubbing out the top parts of those oval shapes, because we don't need those anymore. Do the same inside the small oval shape. Make sure your eraser is nice and clean because that will make your rubbing out a lot better. Next, we're going to draw the cat's ears. Following the side of the head shape, come up a little bit higher and down again. Do the same on the other side. So you end up with two triangular shapes at the top of the cat's head. Inside those, I want you to do the same shape again, but smaller. That's the inside of the cat's ears. Next, we're going to draw the eyes. Come down a little bit from the ears, about that far, and draw one circle there and another circle there. Try to make them the same size. Inside those circles, draw two smaller circles, so he's looking to, to the right. Now we need to draw the cat's nose. It's an upside down triangle, just there. Next, a U shape and another U shape for the mouth, and a third one so it looks like the mouth is open. Now inside the open mouth you can draw a little tongue shape if you'd like. He's a very happy, smiley cat. Now we're going to put on some whiskers. Three on each side should be enough. You can put these on now or at the end of the drawing. Now I'm putting on some little stripes at the top of the cat's head. Three there and two at the sides. Left and right. Now I'm going to put a collar on the cat like I did with the dog. The collar follows the shape of the head. See how I've done that? Now if you'd like you can put a little tag or a medallion on the collar. You might even have room to write your cat's name on it. Next we're going to do the legs. Two rectangular shapes at the front like this and round them off. See how I'm doing that? Now, put a line at the end of each leg, because the paws are often a different colour to the rest of the cat. Three little lines at the end of each foot, for the claws and toes. Now I'm putting those two rectangular shapes again at the back of the cat. Same thing, round them off, two lines and the claws and toes. Now, go in between those two back legs just where the body starts, and put a curved line in like this. That's the hind leg or the back leg of the cat that you can see. Follow it up to the very end of the shape and put in a cat's tail. Now you can do this in lots of different ways. I'm putting a big curving tail in like this because cats have fantastic tails. It looks a little bit like a question mark, this one. Now I'm going to the back of the cat. See what, what I did on the face? I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Some stripes like that. Four should be enough. On the tail I'm going to do the same thing. See how I'm putting them on the top of the tail, not underneath. Now that's the tricky part done. Now you can put your pencil down and pick up your pen or your texter or your crayon or whatever it is you want to use 
and go over all of the lines. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Try to be really careful and stay on those lines that you've drawn. You can colour in the mouth. Now I'm going to slow down again here because I want you to get this part right. See how that leg and that leg haven't got a line going through them. See, I'm going to leave a gap. That's important because they're the legs that are closest to you. I'm go, I go over that one, but not over that one. See if you can do that in your drawing. It will make your cat look a lot more realistic. Now I'm going to continue with the outlines. Take your time. Don't rush this part. Now that I've done those tricky legs, I might just speed up the film a little bit more so that we can get to the end and see how our cat is going to look. Almost finished. All done. Now put the pen down and grab your eraser because it's time to get rid of those pencil lines. We don't need those. Now that they're all gone, we're just about finished. Pick up your pen again and you can colour in the stripes on the cat. Almost finished. And our cat is complete. Try drawing the cat a few times. I'm sure you'll get better with every try. Here's one I did as a ginger cat using brown and orange. But you can choose any colours at all. Thank you for watching Cute Tunes. I hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time.